It looks like we have 51 families that have joined us here that have made it to the end of the week. Um, I want to say again, thank you. Thank you to everybody that has showed up. I, I feel like um, not being able to be present with you at our traditional, our normal, um, if you will, welcome event. Um, this has been a, a good substitute. And really, um, the takeaway at the end of this event, um, to, to put some names to faces and to ask a few questions and to um, meet some of the folks that are going to be an integral part of your son's journey here in the next four years. There's a lot of great people and a lot of great people that want to support your son to be successful over the next four years. So I want to say thank you to all for being here. Um, uh, uh, Principal Wood was going to join us, but he couldn't, he couldn't join us um, tonight, but he, he wanted me to mention that um, in the email that went out um, this week, um, we will be hosting, I mean, he's just, after doing his welcome event session, um, another one of these with the admin team to answer more questions about uh, the email that went out today in the Safer Term Task Force um, that's moving forward. So um, all of those questions, um, I know our admin team is, is eager and excited to get back on, and you'll get more information about that for all of our students, not just our freshmen, but all of our students. So um, without further ado, I want to introduce um, someone who has been an integral part of Jesuit High School for some time now, wearing many hats. Um, um, throughout everything from the uh, provincial of the California province, Society of Jesus, but uh, to, to teacher, to assistant principal. I remember him most as um, my principal when I was here in the early 2000s, um, a great principal at that. We actually both left Jesuit High School at the same time and came back to Jesuit High School right. at the same time. Um, and so uh, without further ado, I wanted to pass it off to um, uh, the Reverend uh, Father John uh, John McGarry, uh, President of Jesuit High School. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you, Matthew. Thank you very much, and uh, welcome to all of you. I can't see you, but uh, I am I met with this morning uh, a number of your sons in the Marauder Seminar Homeroom Series. I had a great interactive uh, opportunity with them. Uh, I was asked to give a talk, but I ended up uh, interacting because I didn't want to speak at them for 30 minutes. So you might ask your sons if they took part in that, uh, what they heard from me. But I'm very grateful, first and foremost, to you parents uh, for choosing Jesuit High School along with your sons for their education and formation and for making the sacrifice. I know it is a sacrifice. It's a, a financial sacrifice to send your sons to Jesuit. And it's an investment. Uh, and I really appreciate that. I, I appreciate that you see the value of uh, a Jesuit education, a Catholic education, a private school education. This program of our education formation that is uh, almost 500 years old, that puts the formation of the whole person at the center of how we run our school. So it's an integrated approach of academic excellence, co-curricular involvement, and spiritual and religious formation. And uh, we work very hard to integrate those things because we want our students to develop as men for others, men who are aimed at and uh, conscious of serving the world, serving other people, making a difference. Um, that's so important to the, the education formation that we offer. And that's what you have chosen. So I'm really grateful to you. Uh, I see that there are 58 participants in this session. So thank you so much for your investment. Um, I know that it is an investment, it, it's a, a financial burden. And I'm also glad that we can offer as much financial aid as we are able to do. Um, we were able to help about 300 families right now. If we had more financial assistance to give, we would give more. And in this time of COVID-19, we are stretching ourselves and we are offering more financial aid for more families who are requesting it. So 
for yourselves and for others who are thinking about applying to Jesuit, uh, please do not let the cost of the private school education be something that deters you from sending your son here. We are committed to offering as much and as many resources as we can to make it possible for every student who qualifies to come to the school, to come here regardless of financial uh, ability. So uh, that's a very important thing for me to say, and I, I hope that you all hear it. Um, we are so blessed, so blessed to have you all, and I'm so grateful that you're, you have uh, decided to send your sons to Jesuit. Uh, we are not a neighborhood school. We are a regional school. We have students from seven, at least 75 different zip codes. So your son will meet students from all over the greater Sacramento area. Uh, if you come from a distance, he'll meet people locally. If you are from a uh, local around the school, he will meet people from uh, Folsom, Granite Bay, El Dorado, uh, all other places. So this is a great, I think, uh, aspect of our school that we bring people from all over the place and we create what we call a, a school that is more than just a school. It is a community of people that cares for one another. So um, not only do we have great care and concern for our students, we have great care and concern for the greater community of Jesuit High School. That includes the parents. So uh, your concerns, your interests, your desires for your son's education are important to us. And we encourage you to be in regular communication and dialogue with us about what you expect uh, for your son's education. We also count on you to trust us that uh, we are in the business of education and we do know um, what we are doing uh, and that we are providing the best that we can offer uh, to you and your sons for their education and formation. So, uh, you know, uh, the brotherhood of our students and our alumni, what this school means to people who've gone to school here, the community. Uh, I told the young freshmen this morning that um, the, more, the most important thing about how we are as a school is that everybody respects each other. And when that doesn't happen, so if someone is disrespectful to another person, uh, that's a big deal for us. So uh, respecting each other in our commonalities and in our differences is a primary component of how we offer this Jesuit high school education. So in the context of this uh, pandemic of the coronavirus, and the dual pandemic of the social justice issue of, of uh, racial equality and, and justice, uh, we are attentive to all of that. And the, the email that you received this evening, uh, you probably many of you have not seen it yet, but the email that you have received outlines our plans to bring this community back together on campus and to do it in a, in a safe uh, way for the students and the faculty and the staff that respects your uh, needs as families. And we encourage you when you read it to send us your questions and to ask us uh, anything you want about how we're gonna bring our students back to campus in August. We are uh, so looking forward to having all of our students and I, the time I spent with them today via Zoom was tremendous. Uh, I didn't get to talk individually with all of them, but I sensed the energy from them. And I, I asked specific questions of some of them, uh, and I dialogued with them about why they want to come to Jesuit. And I was very heartened by their responses. So I'm so grateful to you parents, uh, and I'm open to your questions. I've been involved in Jesuit education for over 30 years. Uh, I was principal of Jesuit High School here in Sacramento 
for eight years from 1997 to 2005. Uh, then I left to do some other work for the Jesuits, both as head of the Jesuits on the West Coast and uh, rector of our seminary, training our young Jesuits for six years in Berkeley. And I came back here two years ago and I couldn't be more thrilled to be here. I believe in the mission of our school. I believe in the people who work here. Matthew Ramos, our director of admissions, our principal, Michael Wood, our assistant principals, Claudia Desmond, uh, Ian Farr, uh, Rod Theodule, and now uh, Colin O'Connor. So uh, you are entering into a, a system, a tradition of Jesuit education that goes back almost 500 years. And our, our selling point, our primary purpose is individual care and concern for each student and development of the students as men for others. Thank you very much. I'm, I welcome any questions. Thank you, Matthew. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. I mean, wise words there. I, I don't even, I couldn't even add more to it. I think um, you mentioned tradition and you mentioned um, support in the system in place and um, it just rings true that um, Jesuit education, you know, and, and, the, and the, the, the mantra, if you will, of, of men for others and teaching the whole person um, is, is what Jesuit's all about. And so um, I, I get the, the privilege of meeting a lot of these of you families and, and students before you come onto campus. Um, and, and I just, this, this small opportunity, a small week of events to meet some of the, the people that you're going to meet next that will be a big part of your continued growth as a young man um, as you start thinking about the next stage in life but soak it all up it goes very fast so um, in whatever capacity and how we are, our whole team is working very hard to get um, back on this campus and excited about this new year um, i'm excited for all of you all the families and all the students um, and what it means to be a marauder um, so Without further ado, if you guys have any questions here, um, feel free to ask them. Um, if not, I, I just wanna say again, thank you for coming and participating um, and, and asking those questions. We will um, take the questions that we've asked um, and um, keep updating that class of 2024 update um, um, welcome page. So use that as a resource um, as long as with our, our whole website, the people that you've met today um, to get those questions answered. So if this week you came in with no questions um, and it inspired a few, um, know that there's a, a whole group of people that are, are working hard this summer to um, make sure that you guys feel um, not excited and comfortable um, about uh, Jesuit education and becoming a marauder um, in the year to come. Class of 2024. Um, that's, that's, that's crazy to think. Uh, I graduated in 2005 and it's it's been a um, been a, uh, it's been an awesome journey to my life. I would say we have, it says, do you suggest a roller backpack or a standard one? And I would say, uh, whatever, whatever suits you, I'd say utilize, utilize that locker as best as you can. Um, and whatever you feel comfortable with, I think students use both. And, um, I know that, uh, uh coolers for lunches is a new popular thing that wasn't around when I was there. Uh, but good question, John C. I don't know if that's a student or a parent, but uh, I would say uh, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you can hold your backpacks in. Yeah. Um, so, Matthew, uh, um, yeah. my apologies. I, 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 I must have misunderstood. I did not realize there are students on this call. Is that right? There are, there are some. I, I think a majority of our, our participants um, and attendees are parents this okay. evening, well, um, but there I, are a couple I, of students. Okay. I did not want to. Uh, I'm grateful that students are on the call. Thank you so yeah. much. Uh, yeah. You know, if, if I said a lot of things, so, uh, and you'll hear a lot of things, you have heard a lot of things this week. The most important thing we want you to feel as students who have chosen to come to this school and parents is welcome. We want you here. We are so grateful that you're coming and welcome. So uh, if I can answer any questions, great. If not, I hope that's the one thing you remember. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Elizabeth, you, you have some questions? I do. Um, we had a few questions come in online, and I have two for you, Father. Yes. One asked, how many uh, Jesuit priests 
our teachers on campus or will we see others beside you? Yeah, that's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, so yes, you will see other Jesuit priests besides me. There are two Jesuits, two other Jesuits who work full time in the school. Father Aaron Ingebretson, who teaches in the social studies department and coaches golf. And Father Perry Petrich, who is coming new this year. He was recently, he will be ordained a priest very soon. And he's coming to help in our campus ministry department and to teach theology. Uh, so they are both full-time with the students. Then I am full-time as president. I'm not with the students every day. My primary responsibility as president. So for those of you who are new to the president principal model, uh, the principal is delegated with the authority to run the school from me. And my job is to really do public relations, uh, parent relations, alumni relations, fundraising, to provide the school with the resources that we need. So I don't, unfortunately, because I, you know, I got into this business to teach students and to uh, enjoy the students, but I spend most of my time with parents, alumni, benefactors, friends of the school, faculty and staff. So um, you will also see me, but you will also see Father Ed Harris, who is the alumni chaplain. So there are four Jesuits who work on the campus. That's wonderful. And um, in the Jesuit residence, Father, how many will we have joining us uh, in the Jesuit Sacramento community? If yeah, you would thank like you. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, in Sacramento, there are three Jesuit ministries. Um, Jesuit High School, the school that you are sending your sons to, you students are coming to our school. There is Cristo Rey High School, which is another Jesuit high school in Sacramento. It's over in South Sacramento. It's a, a small school of about 400 students. Then there is St. Ignatius Parish on Arden Way uh, and Watt, near Watt. And uh, they have a big parish there and a big school, elementary school. All three of those ministries are staffed by the Jesuits. So four of us work at Jesuit High School. Uh, five work at uh, St. Ignatius Parish and School, and two work at Crystal Ray High School. So those are the number of Jesuits that live on the campus in the Jesuit residence that's part of the campus facility. Thank you for sharing. Um, this came from a student, although they didn't leave their name, but he has been very observant. And when he was on campus, he was asking what our uh, flagpole banners mean with the loving religious. So that's our grad at grad. And even though they're freshmen, as a parent myself, I know that you started teaching that when my son arrived as a freshman. Right. You'd like yes. to illustrate. Sure. Thank you very much for that question. So uh, as uh, you know, as students and parents, we are offering you a particular brand of education. It's Jesuit education that's steeped in a 500 year old tradition of St. Ignatius Loyola. And from that tradition comes this profile of what we hope for in the graduate of a Jesuit high school. So when you come here, we want you to be men for others. So we're constantly working with you about that to be men of service, men of generosity, men of intelligence, uh, men of using your gifts. But we have some categories that we also want you to grow in. And those are on the banners that you saw uh, on the campus. So open to growth. We want every Jesuit student to be open to growing into the person that God created you and calls you to be. Uh, so that we're not static in who we are. We're open to becoming better, to becoming different, to uh, recognizing that other people influence us, open to growth. Religious, um, Jesuit is a Catholic school, it's a Jesuit school. And so we place a high priority on 
uh, helping our students experience God here and developing their faith uh, or respecting the fact that their faith is different from the Catholic faith or that they have no faith. Everyone is welcome here, but we do not uh, uh, shy away from being a school that is religious and is steeped in Catholic and Jesuit tradition. Open to growth, religious, loving. Um, I said to the students this morning, you know, in high school, uh, students deal with a lot of issues. And the one thing that I would say that could be most problematic for a student to get involved in here, or to put it more directly, something that would get a student most in trouble is if they are disrespectful to anyone else in the community, a faculty member, a fellow student. We value respect. Uh, we value every person here as someone created in the image and likeness of God. And uh, we expect every member of this community to, uh, to respect each other. So open to growth, religious, loving, um, committed to doing justice. Uh, this aspect of our school, as you know, in our world right now, this is a big, big deal. Uh, people are not feeling uh, equal or respected. And so we place a, a strong value on uh, the, the importance of service, of reaching out beyond oneself to help those who are most in need. So we have a vibrant campus ministry and Christian service program. And then, you know, I add to the list of these, this profile of a graduate at graduation, open to growth, religious, loving, committed to doing justice, I add uh, developing as a leader. Um, it is so important to us as a Jesuit school that our students understand that they have the gifts and the ability to make the world a better place. And we want them to be leaders. So that's what those banners mean. Uh, that's what the profile of what we hope for in a graduate of Jesuit High School. Thank you for the question. That's great stuff. Um, as we close in on the end, um, I wanted to thank everyone once again. And Father, without putting you on the spot, would you would you lead us in a in a closing prayer to we kind of bookend? We started with a prayer at the beginning, and if if you could lead us in a prayer to end this, and then we can go and um, enjoy our Friday and enjoy the weekend here shortly sure. after. Of course, I would do that. Yes, and. Uh, as you will learn, freshmen, and certainly I want you to know, parents, that uh, everything we do at Jesuit High School begins with a prayer. We begin every school day with a prayer over the PA system. We begin every class period with a prayer. We stop in the middle of the day to reflect and to pray for five minutes uh, using what's called the examine by St. Ignatius Loyola. Uh, so uh, acknowledging that God is the author of our lives and the person who uh, helps us be who we have been created to be and who we are called to be is very much at the center of Jesuit High School. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Loving God, we thank you so much for the gift of these new students who are coming to Jesuit High School, our incoming freshmen and their parents. We thank you for all the gifts and blessings that they bring, the hopes and desires that they have. May our upcoming school year, even and especially in the midst of the COVID pandemic and the unrest uh, and the call for justice and equality in our country, may even in the midst of all that, may we come together in unity and in peace and may we focus on what unites us and not what divides us and may the mission of jesuit high school which is to care for each individual person and to develop men for others be our clarion call and something that guides us throughout the year we make this prayer through christ our lord amen in the name of the father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Ignatius Loyola, pray for us. Amen.
North American Martyrs. Pray for us. Uh, excellent. Uh, thank you so much. Um, again, thank you to all the families in attendance this week. Um, I hope you learned um, some new nuggets. Um, uh, follow along. Our communication is, um, is vast. And so there's an email that came out today, uh, the Class of 2024 welcome page. And um, feel free to reach out to um, any of the people you met directly to get your questions answered. Um, again, this is called the welcome event. And uh, we welcome all of you to Jesuit High School. And we look forward to seeing all of your sons um, soon. So with that being said, enjoy your evening and in, enjoy the weekend. Um, uh, stay out of this heat. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. God bless you all. God Thank bless you, Father Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you.